Hello friends, welcome to Astro Crescent. My name is Bhavan. Uh, those who are following me on my channel know that about three weeks ago, I received my Celestone Edge 8 HD. And that was after six months of waiting. Interestingly, uh, you would say, okay, you waited six months and, uh, and then you waited three weeks to open it. It is, but it was Christmas time. It was New Year time. And also, I wanted you to take along with me on this unboxing journey. So, let's do it. Alright, so let's start. Invoice, wow. So, there's a box inside the box. Wow, that's nice. Good packing. All right. So this is how it comes. Two boxes and inside that the Celestone Edge 8 HD. So let me put this here and see what everything is in this box. Well, we can. All right, let's see what's there. Smaller boxes first. So this is, I don't know, doesn't say anything. Celestron 40 mm fossil eyepiece. One and quarter inch star right now. Next box here is fifty mm finder scope. Nice packaging. Huh? Yes, Celestron Edge 8 HD. This is huge, heavy. Don't look directly into the sun. Yeah, that's nice handle. Looks nice, beautiful. Okay, nice big dovetail bar, CG style, wide, safety screws, nice handle to pick up. Uh, one and quarter inch visual back. This is the focus knob and these two are mirror lock clutches. This is the mounting rings for the finder scope. Oops. It goes only one side. That's nice. All right, let's see the front. It's a nice gap here, locks itself and gently take it out. So as you can see, 
this is 2000 millimeter actually it is 2032 millimeter or uh, focal length f10 focal ratio and 8 inches Starbright XLT coatings. XLT coating, as I read on uh, Celestron website, XLT means maximum light can go through this primary mirror. Fast star technology, secondary lens, which can be removed, and you can put a hyper star on it, which makes it F2 very fast, 25 times faster telescope. Right now, it is F10, but with uh, a 0.7 x reducer uh, this can work on f7 okay let's take a look at the back side this is the focus knob wow very smooth mirror lock clutches a handle air vents to take out the heat from the primary Lens. So there are lots of options to mount another dovetail here or mounting accessories here. One, two, one, two, and three options. I'll install the mounting bracket for finder scope first here and then put it on my mount and then I'll prepare it for visual observations. Okay, this is the mounting bracket for finder scope. This rubber is actually, oh, here. That goes later. Okay, I just realized that uh, the finder scope bracket cannot be used on this side because these two screws are smaller. So this has to go on the other side. Longer side towards the front. So let's put it on this mount, so let's turn AVX, you have to remove this front safety screw. Probably I have to use another one. The Celestron uh, includes a uh, 40 millimeter parcel eyepiece uh, with this scope, which gives uh, 52 degrees field of view. Uh, what I plan is to use X cell eyepieces, which gives 60 degrees field of view. So, what I have here is 12 mm X cell eyepiece, which will give me 170 times magnification 
I also have a seven millimeter XL eyepiece, one and quarter inch, which will give me 290 times magnification. But when I combine these two with this XL 2X Barlow, the 12 millimeter eyepiece would give me 340 times magnification and the 7 millimeter would give me 290 times to 490 times magnification. The maximum magnification is 490 times. What I forgot to mention in the beginning is the instruction manual. I did read it online before I received the telescope but it is always good to keep it and to refer to this manual whenever you are in need. Great help. I'll basically use this telescope for astrophotography. For that, I'll have to install uh, another dovetail on top to mount the guide scope and ASI Air Plus. I will also install this ZWO electronic autofocuser with this. I also have received this 7.7x reducer, which will uh, take down its focal length to about 1400 millimeters and uh, uh, f7 focal ratio. I have a dew heater ring which I will install at a later date over here and along with that I have a dew shield and all these things are kind of necessary for astrophotography. For now this scope is all set for visual observations. Until springtime, until the galaxy time, or until this galaxy season, I will take out this telescope and enjoy watching the night sky with my family.